in Pebble Beach, I'm Paolo Racchetti and the product line director of the new Temerario, the replacement of the Glorious Hurricane. It's a brand new car that we have developed to provide the maximum level of driving emotion. It's a car that is sporting a new engine, V8 turbo hybrid engine that is offering 920 PS. So it's a really a remarkable value compared also from the past, so comparing uh, uh, the output from uh, uh, the Hurricane. But let me introduce a little bit uh, which is uh, the uh, key features that we were speaking about uh, the V8 engine turbo. And we are really remarking the fact uh, that this engine is uh, hybrid because we have an axial flux machine in position P1. What does it mean? That is straight con straightly connected to the crankshaft. Uh, instantaneous responsiveness and basically great response uh, for the transient. But then we have the largest turbine ever on a turbo, so we are offering an unbelievable trust. But uh, at the end of the day, what is really, really innovative, something that uh, we have never seen on the road, is the first V8 turbo that revs to 10,000 RPM. And we, we were able to achieve these results uh, implementing technical contents coming straight from motorsport, such as the sliding finger follower, the titanium conrods, and the flat crankshaft. What are we bringing with this innovation? So basically, an unbelievable level of driving engagement. The feeling while the driver is accelerating is to have a car ready to respond to the pedal and then able to offer an infinite acceleration. And from 6,000 to 10,000 RPM, that's where the magic happens. You can feel the vibration from the flat crankshaft. You can feel the acceleration and also the sound of the engine that is really high compared to a standard turbo. Something unique never experienced before. Temerari is not only this. It's a car that has been designed around the requests of our customer because we are listening a lot to our customers through interviews and surveys. And we understood that the Huracan was a car that was really, really often used. One out of three was driven basically daily. And therefore, we had to offer the best level of driving comfort. And as you can see, in this new car, we have a new body in white in aluminum, designed specifically for Lamborghini, that is offering roominess for people up to two meters. And we are also offering luggage capacity, two cabin trolley in the front, two cabin trolleys in the back. This means basically having enough luggage capacity for weekend trips. But let's speak a little bit about the design, because also the design is speaking a new language for Lamborghini. The idea was to have something completely different compared to the past, but also compared to the new Revuelto, our V12 hybrid. So as you can see, the line are more pure, are cleaner, and but still is recognizable as a Lamborghini. Which are the key factors that are making this car a Lamborghini? Of course, the straight line that you can see on the side, the inclination of the windscreen is anyway the lowest car in the market and the widest. And then we have several nice features that are clearly recognizable as a Lamborghini. The hexagon DRL and the hexagon rear lamp. We will see later in detail this nice feature. So what does it mean? That this is a Lamborghini not only in the day, but also in the night, thanks to the new hexagonal signature. This car in particular is the Leggerita. So we're speaking about a package that is providing configuration with 25 kilo less compared to the standard version. What's changing basically? We have a rocker with a new design compared to the standard car in carbon fiber. Also the engine bonnet is made out of carbon fiber and we have also different nodes. Inside the car, we have a door panel in carbon fiber and the exhaust are made out of titanium. And we have also introduced on the underbody a new technology, a really sustainable recycled carbon fiber. At the end of the day, the main improvement in terms of the dynamics of this car compared to the Huracan Evo is plus 103% in terms of downforce. And we were able to achieve these results working on the shape of the car. So you don't see here any kind of wings. And also in terms of cooling, we have improved dramatically the cooling of the car because you have to understand that we are speaking here about 920 PS. And we have used several design cues in order to have air intake 
really small but really effective. At the end of the day, the overall cooling performance has been improved by 50% and also the break-in cooling has been improved by 30%. So this is really remarkable considering the overall package. And if we speak about the Alleggerita, thanks to the work that we have done in the underbody and the work that we have done also on the Nolder, the downforce is even more improved by 50% compared to the standard version. This car specifically has also an ad personal library and is intended to reach the customer that are willing to use the car very often also on the track. So let's, uh, let's see together here some details about the aerodynamics I was mentioning before. The first thing we can see is the roof that has these two bubbles and in the side the air channeling is basically helping to accelerate the air towards the node. We have also here some air passages. You can see here in detail between DRL and then front lamp. They are conveying the air along the front bonnet. And then the mirror has a dynamic purpose. It's able to split the two flows, one on the engineer intake and one towards the radiators. And then let's take a look also at the back. At the back, uh, we have also here a lot of aerodynamic uh, features. Of course, I was mentioning the Nolder, that as you can see, it's working with the air accelerated by the roof. In this way, we are improving dramatically the downforce, but the best job that we have done is uh, uh, with the dif rear diffuser, that here, by, by the way, is in carbon fiber. And uh, how we were able to achieve these dramatic results because of the inclination. Here we have the V8 engine. I will speak in a moment about it. But as you can see here, we have a transversal gearbox. It's transversal, so we are reaching, we have an opportunity to have a better inclination here of the rear diffuser. And this is bringing basically uh, a better vortex generation, thanks also to the work that we have done in underbody. And at the end of the day, the improvement in aerodynamic efficiency I was speaking before. So 100% more compared to the Huracan Evo. And in this specific uh, configuration, the Alleggerita plus 150%. As you can see, the overall cabin is really spacious. I was mentioning before that we have worked uh, on the package of the car with the new aluminum body in white, as you can see. We have a lot of space for the head, but also for the leg. And we have also here enough space for two cabin trolley behind the seats. But what is more important, of course, is the overall feeling that we have. The design philosophy is, as a statement, feel like a pilot. So as you can see, in the new steering wheel, all the driving controls are mechanical rotors here on which we can change dramatically the behavior of the car. We have 13 driving modes, so we can switch between Ta, Strada, that are the driving mode uh, related to the everyday driving. So basically driving the car on the highway in which we have 10 kilometers of electric range. And then in Strada, that is more suitable for the highway in which we can reach the maximum level of efficiency. But then the magic happens when you're shifting towards the driving modes that are more related to the Lamborghini DNA. So sport in which the car is working such as basically a rear wheel drive because here in the front we have the front axle that is working just to give a little bit of torque vector in order to agilize the bit the car. But when you're switching to Corsa, that is the driving mode more suitable for the track experience, the car has torque distribution more neutral and it's becoming really a really aggressive car in terms of uh, attack to the lap lane. What's changing basically? The, four, the front axle is working as a E4 wheel drive and the torque vectoring is helping a lot to improve the lateral acceleration and exit on the corner. The car is becoming a little bit such as uh, an Huracan Performante. But then we have uh, implemented this specifically for a new driving mode that is called drifting mode. So it's helping the driver to start the drifting maneuver, to keep the yaw angle and to realign the steering wheel with the maximum level of safety. And this will open new horizon of fun to drive also at low speed. But let's take a look also at the overall quality of the interior. As you can see, we are using highest level of specification in terms of leather. All the interiors in carbon fiber. And as you can see here specifically, we have also the door panel in carbon fiber. 
that is one of the key content of the Pacchetto Leggerita. Uh, just a few words about the overall driving experience. We are inventing here the new, a new infotainment system, a new HMI that is working all together with the driving mode. So every any time I'm changing the driving mode, the graphics are changing, bringing a, a new environment in terms of background, but also information related to the mission that strictly related to the driving mode. Of course, we are offering also connected services, the state of the art, mainly related to safety and security in order to provide peace of mind to our customers. And uh, specifically for this car, we have in we are delivering also the state-of-the-art in terms of uh, assisted driving system. We have seen which is the quality of life inside the cabin of Temerario. And now we can take a look at the front and some nice little details that are making the difference in terms of aerodynamics. This was, uh, in a nutshell, the new Lamborghini Temerario. A car that we, we call it Fuori Class, top notch. Why? Because we are offering the maximum level of power, 920 horsepower. Groundbreaking acceleration from 0 to 100 in 2.7 seconds and the maximum speed over 340 kilometers. So we really think that this car will set a new benchmark in the super sports car segment. Really a great pleasure to have you here and I hope that uh, Temerario didn't disappoint you. No, it's amazing. Uh, have a nice day. Uh, Thank you very much for your time.